Police trying to find out who shot and killed a Rumpke driver. This is a story we have been following since yesterday. Brittany Harry is live now at District 4 with the latest on this investigation for us. Oh well, yeah, still very much ongoing at this point and really still in the early stages. But Cincinnati police say that 30 year old Angel Flores was found unresponsive in a vehicle yesterday morning in Roseland. We now know that vehicle was his work issued Rumkey truck. Cincinnati police say Angel Flores was found shot to death just before nine o'clock Monday morning. Neighbors say they heard gunshots overnight. I want to say it's about two thirty or so in the morning. My reference told me she heard four gunshots. They really paid no attention because we hear them briefly around the neighborhood sometimes. Then in the morning when I left out, uh, come on the car from school, I seen the Rumpke truck sitting back there about 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, 15 minutes later, I came out to take the kids to school and still sitting there. The truck was found near a dumpster behind an apartment building in the 7100 block of East Lawn Drive. Rumpke says Flores was one of their hardest workers. He was known as one of the hardest workers around. He would help out anybody. A uh, super intelligent guy. Uh, family guy. He had two little kids. Um, you know, it's it's a, it's such a hard situation. You know. Flores had been with Rumkey as a residential driver since 2019. The company says he was servicing customers along his normal route. They too are filled with more questions and answers and say they are cooperating with CPD in their investigation. I think we're all concerned with everyone's safety every day. That's our top concern. We want everybody to return home safely to their families. So again, this is a heartbreaking situation that one that we've not encountered here before. So we're definitely, you know, taking everything into consideration as we move forward. There's a lot of violence going on throughout the whole city. This is real bad. Something needs to be done. So Cincinnati police at this point are still searching for a suspect. So no suspect information has been released at this point. And it's also unclear at this time what led up to the shooting. Neighbors told me that they didn't hear anything prior to those gunshots ring out in the neighborhood. Meanwhile, Cincinnati police say that they really need witnesses to come forward. So if you have any information that could help them in their investigation, you should give the homicide unit a call. For now, I'm reporting live from District 4, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now. Brittany, thank you.